What's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by. I hope everyone's having a great day. This is Josh as always with Vault Hunters Union here to do another unboxing video of my new mouse. This is a Logitech G502 Proteus Core. I was debating whether to get this one, the G602 or the G700 for some wireless instead. Um, they were both great mice but ultimately I decided to go with the best and this is the best. I looked everywhere online to find the best mouse I could and this is rated as the best mouse out there right now because of the sensor. So this is a G502. It is a wired mouse. If you open up the packaging here, um, you'll see it's got the Delta Zero sensor technology. The sensor is what makes this mouse so great. Apparently it is the best sensor on the market and very adaptive to you know different surfaces and stuff like that. So I recently just I got a new keyboard and then I got the itch to get a new mouse as well just to kind of upgrade everything. So uh, that's what I did. So if we take a look here at, see if I can get that in focus. So it's got 11 programmable buttons. Um, sick and controls including DPI shift. This thing goes all the way from 200 to 12,000 DPI. The max acceleration is 40 G's and max speed is 300 IPS. You're probably not going to be able to see that because it's probably too bright. But um, the uh, durability for the feet is rated at 250 kilometers and 20 million clicks. This does use some a form of a mechanical switch. Um, per se um, for the buttons so uh, they should last a very long time so we're going to go ahead and open this up I already had to open it up and uh, because I did uh, record a different unboxing video and fucking butchered the hell out of it so obviously like if you watch my Corsair unboxing I did say that I don't really play a lot of games anymore as much as I used to um, but when it comes to me and technology I always have to have really good stuff I don't know why which is kind of bad because I don't always treat my technology the best but um, so when we open the package on the bottom you'll see the first thing is a Logitech um, it's a kind of a user's manual and then there's some Logitech important information we'll throw that off to the side take the cover off here there's a magnetic thing I don't know exactly what that's for oh, it must be for the book cover because the case is book style okay so we'll see the braided cable on the back we'll go ahead and pop this out here get in the hole Alright, now that we're done wrestling, so this is the mouse here, now this mouse is, um, one of the comments is that a lot of people with large hands had a hard time with this, you can see that it is very slim, I have the M65 here is my old mouse, um, you can see it is noticeably wider for sure, so if you have bigger hands you may not be able to find use in it, um, one of the things is that a lot of people, a lot of people with bigger hands naturally have that claw grip, so it's okay, so one of the good things about this switch, on these uh, buttons is that you can press them from all the way up here or if you like to put lay your hand out flat like I do all the way out at the front as well the, literally it's no more difficult to press from back here than it is up here which is quite uncommon with mice so this is a great all-around mouse the G key lights up into a blue which is a similar color to this thumb rest here now um, you cannot you can change the brightness on it but you can't do any sort of patterns to the lighting so you can't do like a like a pulsating you can't do anything like that um, it's either on or it's off and then you can change the brightness on it now it does have 11 programmable buttons the one thing about this mouse is it does have the scroll wheel so you can like that or you could, there's a button this button right here you press it and it's free scrolling so there are 11 programmable buttons one two three four five six seven wait sorry one two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so the mouse wheel screw does pop left and right you can customize that and also the down and obviously it scrolls as well so this G key I don't think would be very easily accessible it would have been nicer I think if they took this and put it here because most people aren't really going to play with that very often but that G key it's very accessible but then the bottom one you kind of have to reach a, quite a bit more to get to that other G key now by default you're going to have a back and a forward button here um, and then these are going to be your DPI shifts so you can change um, up to five I think most other mice are three settings that you can have saved this has five and then this is by default the sniper button so if you're playing at let's say 4000 DPI you can program that to 500 DPI so when you press and hold it it's like uh, for precise sniping so that's pretty much it um, in terms of the grip on the inside here there's there's some rubber grip here and that extends all the way around to the hand and then going around the side that's also here and then going to the bottom that's the same now the one thing about this mouse is for the first time that Logitech has created a mouse 
that can have weights and that was what fell out of here earlier is inside of here is a bunch of weights now each one of these only weighs 3.6 grams so it's not going to add a whole lot of weight if you fill this up you probably won't even notice that's what she said but um, apparently if you put a lot of the weight in the back also what she said um, it's a lot more noticeable. So that's pretty much it for this unboxing. Uh, again, once I get these kind of set up and stuff, I'm going to go over some, you know, some thoughts about it. If you guys have any questions or con concerns or comments, please let me know. I have a question for you guys. I am now in the market for a mouse pad. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Peace.